Hey everyone, my name is Nikki Arrett and welcome to this super quick tutorial that's going to take you from capturing the motion capture data to applying it to a skeleton. Stick around if you want to see how to retarget animation from character to character in Motion Builder, but let's start off with Maya where I've already rigged a character and weighted it. I'm just going through my weights here and then applying the range of motions to my character in Motion Builder, but I'll speak more about that later. This was captured with Shogun Live. We calibrated the room with a wand and then imported these files into Shogun Post. Shogun really helps out with this and this is the part where we look for the red markings that Shogun has highlighted for us, which will indicate any possible mistakes. Simply drag select all three lines and go to Objects and select Cut Keys. Repeat this process for all 53 markers for the entire timeline and then you're ready to go Objects, Select by Type and Solving Bones to export to Motion Builder. I like to have my keyboard set to Maya and I'm just going to import the motion capture data first. Now the next thing I'm going to do is fix the typos, so set timeline to minus 10, just open property editor by going to windows property editor and now I'm going to zero out all the rotations starting with hips then upper legs and so on, the order being quite important depending on which joints you're zeroing. At this stage, it is important to make sure that the definition of the character works. There might be issues for the arms, but this allows us to move on. Oh yeah, never touch the shoulder rotations. I made the mistake here and forgot to add the minus, but I quickly went back two steps and fixed the arm. Alright, so this required some experimenting, so I opened a new motion builder scene, even though you probably didn't have to, and imported the cleaned up motion capture data with the fixed depots. And um, then I'm just going to delete this one that I had in the scene. I grabbed the gremlin from the tutorials folder and dragged it into the window, FBX merge. And just by the way, if you don't have this folder, then I don't know what you should do, because I had to try it on three computers. Alright, so then you go to characters and drag the character to one of the bones. Characterize, yes, do it, and then choose biped. Once you have done that, change the character at the top to gremlin and the source to character. Click on the little blue dude, edit and bake to control ring, then bake to skeleton. Finally, go to merge, find your character FBX file, select it and just change source to character 1. Now click the blue dude again and bake to control rig, bake to skeleton and this is where you can actually go file and save animation so you can apply this animation to this character without having to do retargeting again. Whoopee! So this is when you can finally send this to Maya. So that's where I'm going to just apply my textures to the character and then merge the scene with the environment I modeled before. I'm going to render it in two layers, one for the character, the other one for the background. Play Blast, and it looks good. Some frames had to be re-rendered, but I edited the whole thing in After Effects where I just played with the camera to achieve the fractal effect for which I've been going. Please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video and leave a comment on what you're motion capturing, and say hi to my lecturer because I'm going to submit this. Hi Fred!